Walking. It's a simple task most of us never think about except for the man that you're about to meet because for nearly three years he has had to think about every step until now. Reporter Sarah Gustin shows you how advanced technology is giving a gift to a man who didn't know if he would ever walk again. It happened uh, July 9th, 2009. Thank a memory you. like Pearl Harbor in my mind. The day a motorcycle accident changed Steve Herman's life forever. Steve is the first in the state and one of only 40 in the world to be fitted with a symbionic leg. Steve's old prosthesis had a bionic knee, but he's now walking on a bionic knee and a bionic ankle. Now my leg and my foot act just like fairly close to a, a normal leg and foot. Once he got onto the prosthesis, felt comfortable with it, he took off. Dr. Lear is Steve's doctor. Down. He says there's been bionic knees and bionic feet for years, but the two could never be used together. This is the first prosthetic in the world that's integrated with both. The sensors in the foot allow Steve to go into all terrain circumstances so that if he's walking, let's say in the grass and there's resistance on the toes, well the prosthesis senses that puts a little bit more energy into the knee to keep it from lock, from unlocking and raises the toes higher so you don't have that particular resistance or drag. I travel a lot. I still do. I travel about 50,000 miles a year um, all by air and uh, travel by myself. Um, I golf three times a week. Steve says he also now walks on the treadmill at least four miles a day. Just grateful for where I'm at. Every day is a good day. I just don't have a bad day anymore. In Bismarck for KX News, I'm Sarah Gustin. Dr. Lear says Steve's walking radius between 1.8 to 2.5 miles per hour. He says you and I normally walk at about 1.7 miles an hour. Keep it here. Coming up.